Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on creating the tags page. So to begin, we are going to make uh, a new file and we save that file as tags.html. Okay, so let's generate a template for HTML5 and put a few required things here and there. So HTTP and our page title tags. Okay, so if um, we can go and double click on our new tags page so we can see that everything is fine. So the next step is to get rid of this and we need to find a page that has similar content so we don't have to type everything from scratch. So new article um, would have that. So I'm going to copy everything in the body and paste it in here. Okay. Um, so the alignment has gone off a little bit. Just need to select from the very base and just one below and tab. Okay, so now let's um, see what we need and what we don't. Um, minimize the side menu. So in the main content area, we can minimize the header. And here uh, we can minimize that for now and get rid of it. Okay, so if we go back into our header, um, everything here looks okay. And side menu. Get rid of the active from there and put it in tags over here. Um, so minimize that, save, uh, reset the screen. Okay, we're missing our style. So let's add the default style here. And that's looking better. Uh, we seem to be missing um, the footer. The footer has been deleted. Um, a bit too enthusiastic with my deleting earlier on. So come back here and copy that. And paste it over here. Okay, indent. Save this and reset the page and the footer is back. So this is the space where we need to start um, writing our new and fresh HTML code. So we'll start with a, a class, a row, and within that row, we're going to have a column, okay? So start with medium. So we could duplicate this, actually. We can focus on, on the first bit for now in this lesson. So we're just gonna focus on this um, HTML. All right, so within the first one, I'm going to uh, add a new class, um, dashboard left cell. Okay, so leave that like that for now. Create another class, call this admin content container, give it a header, uh, H5, and create tags. So this is what it looks like, all that code comes down to just one line output. Okay, so here form and we'll give it um, a class. So this would be our form group. Uh, give it a label and our label is add comma separated tags below. Okay, so that's what we are trying to do. And that's what we have so far. We now need to have a text area. Uh, give it a class, give it a default form control from Bootstrap. And how many rows will be three and a placeholder, the default text 
will be an example coding CSS, I nearly typed PHP there, and Ruby. And there we go. Um, it's a good idea uh, to wrap our text area in P tags. So there we go. Much better. And we now need to have a button, so a block button of type primary. Okay, save this. Uh, that's what we're going for. Save tags. Uh, say save tags. And that's that. Okay, so that pretty much uh, concludes the first um, part. So the next lesson will um, work on tags. So this is a very nice and short uh, lesson. So that concludes this lesson. And I will see you in the next lesson.